today we're hooking up the MLM2 Pro to GS Pro with the new connector. And what's amazing about this version is one click and it connects everything. Check it out. Play golf. Welcome Triple Bogey. Enjoy your Rapsodu MLM2 Pro session on GS Pro. I'm opening the connector and setting it all up. Go out there and make some birdies. It's an easy game, just remember, it's all in the hips. Okay, we'll start by going to GitHub and we'll go to Springbok. Select his MLM2 Pro connector. And on the right hand side is where you'll find his latest release. In a normal ongoing basis, as you release stable updates, you'd go to this, you'd select the latest, scroll down to the bottom, and we'll click on the zip file to download. You'll download, unzip it, and extract it. Today, I'm gonna to show you his newest beta version, which for those of you that would like to try out the beta versions, there may be bugs, we're trying out new things in those versions. That's on Joe Legowski Golf Facebook site. The links for all of this will be below in the description to get you there, but on February 19th, uh, ETM put out a link to the latest version. And if you click on that, it'll take you here. I'll have this link in the description below as well. And we're going to download 1.02.01. .01. And I'm going to go through setting this up from start to finish. So we're going to click download. It's going to start in our downloads folder. And when that finishes, we'll open up downloads folder and extract it. Okay, so it's finished downloading. We're going to right click the file and we're going to go to show more options and click extract all. When we do that, it's gonna ask where, I'm just gonna to extract to the same folder. And there we go. What I typically do is then I delete the zipped version. I don't really need it anymore. I'm just gonna get rid of it. And I'm gonna move this extract ver extracted version onto my desktop. And this will be the one that we run the program out of. So we'll open that up and everything is ready to go. There's an EXE for the ball tracking app. You don't need to run this separately. The connector will open that for you. But let's open up the main connector here. When you do, it's going to say this warning. Microsoft's Defender has prevented you. It's an unrecognized app. We're going to click more info and we've got to click run anyway. Again, run at your discretion. OK, so we've got it open up top here. There's a few things we need to set up just to start. This first button is an exit button. Second one, device settings. Third, we have settings, putter settings. Most important one, donate to ETN for the building of this connector and support him through buying his products in his shop on this button. All right, let's get into the device settings. Okay, so we'll start with device settings. We'll click on the phone up top. And what we need to do is we've got three device slots to save our different ROI setups in. Android is set up for EasyCast because that was the most commonly one used at the time. iPad is AirPlay. These You need to set these up specific to your device. You can put an Android on the iPad or a Samsung on the iPhone device name. Don't worry so much about the device name column. Just make sure that your mirror app window name is properly named. For me, I use Samsung Flow. So if we look down here, Samsung Flow, the window name for Samsung Flow is Samsung Flow. When we hover over it, at the bottom when it's minimized or when we open it up it's going to say samsung flow as the window title so that's what i need my device setting to say so for my number one slot android i need this to say samsung flow now the mirror application path that is wherever the executable file for your mirror application is so if you have the airplay app it's where does the airplay executable file run from if you downloaded it you'd have to find where you installed it at for samsung flow it was tricky for me to find so i'll show you um if I go to browse, you're typically going to, when you start at browse, you're probably going to start at C and it's under program files and then windows apps, which is a hidden folder that you cannot get to. And it's, you need administrative privileges. So we're going to go up here in the top. We'll click on that top bar. We'll add the forward slash and we're going to type in windows apps and hit enter. Within this screen, we're going to scroll down towards the bottom and we get to the S's and you're going to see Samsung electronics. Um, I'll widen this out here so we can see it. The one that says Samsung Electronics, Samsung Flux, and it has the X64 in it. We'll open that. And there's your Samsung Flow executable. So we'll double click. And now that path is, is saved. I'm going to just control A, control C, which is a select all. Then control C is a copy. Let's save this. I'm gonna go to the iPad one. 
and I'm going to paste my Samsung Flow in there for that one as well. If you had an iPad and a Samsung and you wanted to use different devices for these, you could. I'm just making sure that no matter which device I choose and set up ROIs on, they all work with Samsung for me. So Samsung Flow is my window name, save. And Samsung Flow is also my window name here. Now, yours, these are gonna be specific to your device. If you have an iPhone, it'll be likely AirPlay or whatever you're using to screen mirror. If you have an Android or a Fire tablet or a different type of phone, Google phone, you'll have your own screen mirroring app depending on what you're using. Okay, we'll close out of this, they're all saved. I'm gonna double check when I go back in just one more time under my devices, they're all there. They've all got Samsung Flow as the window name. They've all got an executable. Again, this makes it so that when you select the device, your screen mirroring app will open up automatically for you. That will be important later as we show the whole thing just starting up and connecting everything for you. All right, on to the next part. Okay, so next we'll just go down the line. We'll click on settings, which this is the general overall settings. We're only gonna change a couple of things here. There's GS Pro Path, and this is important to get correct um, so that it does launch. The path, and I've already found it, we can browse for it, but it is C GS Pro V1 core slash GS P slash GS Pro dot EXE. There's a launcher EXE that you could end up selecting, but it causes problems and sort of crashes. The one that we want is in this core folder. So it's again, C GS Pro V1 slash core slash GSP. And then we're selecting this one here, which is the GS Pro dot EXE. This will launch GS Pro automatically when we start it up. So we want that in that path. The next, we need to choose the default device. My default device is gonna be Android. This will be the one that opens up right when we open up the connector. This will launch my Android screen mirroring. This will launch GS Pro, and then this will tell it which launch monitor to connect to. If you have the Mevo Plus, you can select there. If you have the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro, you can select here, and we'll hit save. And okay close okay and the last setup we've got to make is clicking on the webcam putting system and setting that up for me i'm using um webcam putting if you have an x putt that's what you would select i don't have instructional video on how to do the x putt as i don't have it so let's go to webcam putting we can sort of skip this second part because this is for webcam specifically you'll want to choose your camera device id if you don't know it, you can do the find video sources. I have a whole video on how to set up your webcam putting. You can check that out. Um, and then we'll set up ball color. I use an orange ball and I start with the orange too, but then I go in and dial these in. You can check out my webcam putting dialing in your HSV color settings. That will be very helpful here. We can leave the rest as the same now that we've selected webcam up top and we can just hit save. Okay, and close. Okay, so now all we've got left to do is set up the ROIs on our device. I've got a whole video on set up our, setting up ROIs. I'm going to go through this quickly. If you want the detailed version, and I would recommend it, go to my other videos on setting up ROIs. The high definition and the large screen size is important, but I'll quick show you here. We'll connect to the device first. I need to confirm on my device. I can go to the Rapsodo app. I can choose my profile, click connect MLM2 Pro. Start session. And I'm gonna set mine up initially in practice mode. This is something you don't really have the opportunity on an iOS, you'll have to use range mode, but I'll go through setting up both of them very quickly. We're gonna go hit a shot. We're gonna maximize this window and we're gonna go hit a shot. Okay, so we've hit a shot and we've got our window maximized. We are going to go to the MLM Pro Connector app with this window maximized, our screen sharing window. And our screen sharing window is Samsung Flow. If I click on the bottom here, you'll see it's named Samsung Flow. So we're gonna go device, we'll select Android. I'm gonna click ROIs. Okay, so now we'll set up the ROIs. And just as you would expect, Clubhead speed is going to go over clubhead speed and so on and so forth.
we'll hit save and then we're going to hit verify and we're going to verify these 123 equals 123 87 is 87 15 .1 is 15.1 2.6 2.6 4 8 8.6 8.6 save <clears throat> oh sorry close close And we'll hit select and there you have the first one set up now if we wanted to use this device in range mode or you have a device where you use it in range mode such as an ios device i'll show you quick there we'll set up the second slot for that so i'll just go back we'll end this session i'm going to open up the rapsodo range i'm going to select We'll do a new session. We'll hit into the net because we're indoors, current elevation, high resolution, and continue. And we'll start range. Just gonna select a club, it's not really relevant. And our ROIs are gonna be at the bottom here. I have a whole video on setting up ROIs. Again, check that video out, but I'll show you here quickly. We'll go back to the connector and with this window the screen mirroring window maximize as big as possible we'll go to the connector we'll select device and i'm going to use device number two for my rois which is ipad in this case and we'll set up the rois i'll do that quickly okay we'll hit save we'll hit okay and we're gonna hit a shot Change a couple of settings here. Stationary camera. Grid lines off. Audio off. Okay, so we've hit a shot. Let's verify those ROIs on that second slot. There they are. Let's hit the verify button. 124, 124. 82 that says 88 launch angle 15.3 15.3 direction 3.9 3.9 spin axis 14.8 14.8 spin rate 6303 okay so let's try to see why we're getting 88 there let's make this So we're getting a good spin right now. So you'll have to refine those. I have a whole video on refining ROIs. Save. Okay. Close. So that's how you'd set that up. And if you wanted to use that as your default device, you could go into your, your startup page and change it to iPad, which is the second slot if you're using the range. But I'm going to use practice mode for Android. Save. Okay. And close. Okay. So the only thing left to set up would be the webcam putting. And I will start mine up. I have a whole video on webcam putting and how to set it up. Once your webcam gets gets started, I'm going to set mine up quickly. We're gonna hit the A key. I have a more defined video for you. You're gonna get this box where you want it, which is your starting box. Mine's gonna be roughly here. And all of this you would refine specific to you. I'm going to flip the image. There we go. That's the view from which I put. I'm going to hit the A key one more time. And I'll hit the D key. It's got my settings there. We'll quickly refine these make sure that they're correct i'll go over and do that let's see if we can get those defined quick got an orange ball out there so we're going to try to get those dialed into that orange ball Here it's getting bigger and saturation looks pretty good 
I'll put one once. Looks like it's going to read it. Again, I have a whole video on how to set up the R, the webcam putting. So check out that video on how to set it up. But essentially, this is it. I'm going to hit the D key to save that. And I'm going to... I'm going to quit out of webcam putting and stop it. So we're all set up now. I've got webcam putting set up. Got all my devices and their ROIs set up. Again, separate videos on webcam putting and device setup that you need to check out. They're very important and we're good to go. I'm gonna exit out of this app. Okay, so now we're ready to start up our connector. Let's go to that folder. Let's go right click it and let's go show more options. And I wanna send to, or just create shortcut, I guess. We'll take that shortcut and I'm gonna drag it to the desktop. We're gonna rename it MLM to Pro Connector. It's important that you put a, a shortcut on your desktop and not the actual connector file because if you put the connector file on the desktop, it's no longer part of that folder and your program will not work. All right, so now we're just going to run the connector and you're gonna see that GS Pro is gonna start up, my screen mirroring app is gonna start up, everything is gonna connect automatically in this new version. Are you ready? I'll open it. Samsung Flow is opening up. The connector is opening up. Webcam putting is opening up. GS Pro is opening up on the projector. The GS Pro API is opened up and it is it is connected itself. If I click back on the putting app or on the on the MLM2 Pro connector app, you've got your device connected, Samsung Flow is open, it is ready. Your webcam is running, it is ready. The API is connected. We are done. The only thing we have to do on say a Samsung device um, is when you're in Samsung Flow, we still need to go to Smart View. And because I chose device number one as my auto start, I need to be in range mode. I could either change to range mode right now, or I could go into the connector itself and switch the device to device number two, which is the iPad device that I set up the ROIs on. And if I wanna check those ROIs, I can click ROIs and verify where the boxes are. I, I did not select the right one, hold on. Um, select iPad ROIs, there they are. Save, oh, I don't need to hit save, but close. Now we can go back to our connector. We'll select device number two. And on the right hand side, we're going to go into practice. We'll go to the driving range and let's hit a shot and see if it works. Don't mind my daughter here. So let's hit a shot. Hi, hi. Oh, yeah. There you have it. There you have it. Now you're ready to play in GS Pro. If you want to check out some of my other videos on how to get webcam putting set up, or how to get the ROI set up. It's very important in getting accurate readings into the GS Pro. If you have any other questions or would like a more detailed section of this video, please reach out and let me know. I'd be happy to help. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment. I appreciate it very much, and we'll see you guys next time.